Good morning. So I'm gonna start off this plant collection tour here in my dining room. And this is where I have my big vid show shelf and also my bay window. And then there's Ollie. All right, let's see how much of this I can get through. <laughs> I might need to split this into different parts. All right, so right now I have the lights on in my shelf. So I'm gonna turn off the lights so I can properly show you guys the plants. Okay. All right, so the lights are off now. And this is pretty much the natural light that comes through this bay window and that hits the shelf. When summertime comes or spring and summer comes, um, there'll be a lot more light here, so I won't have to leave the grow lights on for as long. Okay, so I'm gonna start at the top of the shelf. Up there is my golden pothos, and it just trails all the way around and onto the curtain rod over there. and then trails down here on the side of the shelf. And I do apologize, things are a little bit messy here <laughs> because I just have a lot of propagations going on at the moment, getting ready for spring and stuff. So okay, on this top level, I have quite a few little greenhouse terrariums. In the back there is my Syngonium confetti. And then in the front here is my Hoya Kanyaku Mariana. Okay. And then down here, I just have some little propagations going on. These are all rooted already. I don't know if you can see. There you go. There's a lot of roots. This is a Ripsalis oblonga, I believe. I'm just leaving it in here because I think it's really cute. So that's that. And then this is a Cissus quadrangularis and also rooted. And I have more propagations of these. And then this is a new one. I just um, cut off some of the longer vines on my Peperomia kimnachii and started rooting them in water and then behind them is my two codex plants the first one is my philanthus mirabilis it hasn't unfolded its leaves yet for the daytime and i showed you guys this plant in a previous video um, where i talked about some of my current favorites and then down there is my Stefania erecta. There you go. It is starting to emerge, if you guys can see that little green sprout there. So, nothing much to see yet. Over here is my Paparaceae avonia. And it's just in this head planter. Sorry if this footage is a little shaky. My hands are so tired and weak because I've been carrying my, my infant around a lot. Okay, and then over here is where it gets a little bit congested because I have so many propagations here. Um, so in the front here, I have just a whole bunch of Hoya Chingengensis propagations. Um, sorry, that white you see, it's just a step. It's not mealy. I check for mealies all the time on my Hoyas because I'm just so paranoid. Um, but yeah, so I have a lot of propagations of these going on. So I have one here. Okay, there. And then I have two more bottles of these propagating. And then one in the back there. So, 
hopefully they'll root for me. In the past, I've rooted them very easily in water, so I don't expect any challenges. And then in the back there is my Peperomia kimnachii mother plant that I took the cuttings from. You can see how tall it is, it's just hitting the top of the shelf, so I just decided to trim it and just propagate it. And most likely, I'll just probably put the propagations back into the same pot, but probably up pot it. So in this little terrarium here, which is really cute, it opens up here. I have some little Hoyas. I'm trying to figure out how to show you guys this. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take this one out. This is a Hoya Lei, but it's the uncommon form, which is, I guess, Lei China, I think. But I've seen other Lei Chinas that are very similar to just the regular Lei, so with Hoyas, it's a little bit hard to really identify, but this is the more uncommon one with the longer foliage, I would say. So just propagating. It's already starting to root. And then in there, I don't think I'm going to be able to pull it out, but I do have a Hoya Larissa and then a Hoya VL9. Not much to see anyway, it's just like two leafer and just trying to get it to grow because this is one of the ones that my friend gave me to see if I could get some action going. So we'll see. I'm just going to put this back in. Um, I do have to miss this greenhouse. Okay. All right, and then over here are just some uh, Gracilis lipstick plant cuttings that are very well rooted in water. I don't know, I'm just too lazy to pot it up and it's doing fine in water, so we're just gonna leave it. Okay, so let's move down to this level here. I've got a Peperomia quadrangularis. And then over here I have a Hoya Parasit no, Hoya Verticillata Splash. Um, this is the one that in my previous video I received it um, and I unboxed it with you guys and then I chopped it up to propagate. And it has rooted. Let me see if I can show you guys the roots. There it is. It's very well rooted in here. So we're just going to leave it there for now until I have time to pot it up. Um, in the back, I just have a little succulent. I'll put the name on the screen because I don't remember the name of it right now. And then I have another pot of succulent. Here. And then here is my Hoya Parviflora Slash. It's growing really well. You can see how pretty the foliage is. It's super splashy. And I noticed after I put it under lights, um, the person who had this before me, I don't know how they grew it, but um, the leaves were mainly just like a splashy green, like that. And I put it under lights and it's now like a purpley splash. Okay, here is a Hoya Crassi Petiolata. It's just a regular one. I also have a splash one that I'll show you guys. Quite a bit of new growth going on here. You can see the two new growth there. And then there's a new leaf here. And also which I'm trying to, I'm always trying to untangle. Okay. And then over there in the back, I have a Hoya AH074 Silver. Super pretty. Oh, I can't. Over here is my Hoya Postiflora. It's really adorable. The leaves are just like teeny tiny. 
but it is constantly putting out new growth, so. And I am noticing a little bit of splash, so that's exciting. Down here is my Hoya Elliptica. I have it in pond, so we'll see how it's doing or how it's gonna do. And the color on this is a little bit um, sun stressed. I do think I prefer it looking more green, so I might move it to a lower light um, location. Next to that one is a newer um, plant that I got. This is actually a Dyskidia, let me get the name right, Tonsuensis or something like that. I will put it on the screen. It is absolutely adorable. Um, I saw pictures of this on Instagram and I instantly fell in love with this Dyskidia. The leaves have these little dimples. I don't know if you guys can tell in the middle. So it's kind of like a, a round foliage, but a, like starting to form a heart shape. Um, if I could find a photo of like a full plan of it, it, I'll show you guys because it's so beautiful. Okay. Um, inside this dome here, I do have a couple more Hoyas. So I will take that out and show you guys. So I have some cuttings that are rooting in here and I also have this guy which I definitely want to show you guys. This is a Hoya Sulawesiana. Like that. So it's very like strappy like. I think it's supposed to be dangling down but mine is growing upwards so it's fine. This is the other leaf. Super cool for you. Um, nothing new yet, I don't see. Okay. And then over here is a, wow, it is so bright, is a Hoya Lacanosa Poonsack. Okay. And then in here I have two different cuttings that I'm trying to root. So one is a Hoya Rubita or Rub I don't know, something like that, Rubita. I will um, put the name on the screen. And then the other one is a Hoya species Papua. They look very similar in this jar, but I promise you they're different. So this one is Papua and this one is um, Regida, or I might have the name wrong, something like that, or Rubita, maybe, okay, anyways. Next, I have this big terrarium here, oh my goodness, I don't know how I'm going to show you guys everything in here. Um, I'm going to have to take the lid off, so give me a second. All right, so here we are. So let's start here in the back. This is a Hoya Crassi Petiolata Splash. Um, I think you guys saw me unbox this or repot this and it has a new leaf coming out. Next to that is my Hoya Sigillatus Borneo, which you also saw me, uh, I believe. Unbox and pot up and it has since put out um, Quite a few leaves actually two over here and then a new set here, so it's doing well the New leaves are getting splashed here, which makes me happy. All right, and then here is my Hoya Biakensis um, I think you also saw me unbox this too so it is putting out new leaves as well. 
pull it there at the end. Okay. Over here is my Hoya Lei. This is the regular one. Um, it has these fuzzy, fuzzy leaves, and it has put out so much new growth. And again, I think you guys saw me unbox this too. I think it was all part of one unboxing video. Look at all the new growth. It's so amazing. Okay, over here is my Hoya Carnosa Wilbur Graves. I believe this is China. Then down here is Hoya ETS 10. I am doing an experiment with these two cuttings because I have two of these. One here and then one over there. I don't know if you guys can see how beautiful the foliage is on these. Let me just show you guys up close here. There you go. It is so nice and silvery splashy. So I have one that I potted up in um, my potting mix, like my regular Hoya potting mix, and then one in pond. So I want to see how they both do. Um, and I do have a video with this experiment, so I'll, I'm just compiling it right now. And then this is a little cutting of a Hoya Long Jacalyx, I think, um, that's currently rooting. And it does have roots. Let me show you guys. Can you see? No, you cannot see the roots. Okay. There you go. Okay. And if you guys are wondering how this compares to the Hoya Chingensis, here it is side by side. Look at the leaf shape difference. All right, the lowest level here, um, I have my Hoya Bilobata that is getting ready to bloom. Okay. And then I have a jelly bean succulent that needs to be outside. All of my succulents are just dying to be outside because the grow lights are just not enough. Indoor lighting is just never enough for succulents, I realize. Um, I really need to put them outdoors, otherwise they start stretching out. I have a... Uh, shoot, I forgot the name of this cactus. But I'll put it on the screen. And then I have a Hoya... Uh, Carmelé. Here. It's starting to get some sunstress, so it's really pretty. Got some nice sunstress on this Carmelé. In this little contraption, I have a Syngonium uh, Chia Pence Frosted Heart, I think is what it's called. It's a one leafer. I'm trying to get it to do something. Yeah. Alrighty. Um, in the back, I just have some of my variegated lipstick plant, rooting in water. Um, over here, I have some new cuttings that my friend so kindly gave, uh, gifted me. This is a Hoya Erythina. Oh my god, it's so gorgeous. And also a Philodendron Mayoi. Such a generous cutting, oh my goodness. I'm so excited for these to root. I have my Ficus Lyrata. Hanging here, I have my Peperomia Scandens. It has a name, I forgot the name of this type. This is a variegated version, but it's a green on green variegation. So when I get the name, I'll put it on the screen for you guys. I really need to chop this guy up because it's getting kind of unruly. Um, yeah. 
Over here I have my Easter cactus. And then next to that is my little, oh my God, Syningia. So pretty. And it's fuzzy leaves. This guy actually never went into dormancy this winter, so we'll see how it grows in the spring. And then my philodendron or the metaphyllum xanadu. Okay. Hanging here, I have my variegated, no, sorry, my Thai pink lipstick plant that is extremely sun stressed. It is, oh my god, let me show you guys this bundle of. Look at the blooms. I must say, the Thai pink has the prettiest blooms. It's so pretty. So these are all getting ready to bloom. And there's more. Okay. And then, okay. And then over here, I have my Hoya. Wybergii. I know, I think the name might have changed. Um, I'll put it on the screen, I don't remember it right now. Um, but it has beautiful uh, splashing. I can't get anything to focus today. So yeah, it's got beautiful splashy leaves. It's probably being washed out right now. And then down here, I just have a Skindapsis Silver Splash. I need to repot this. The pot is just not big enough anymore. The roots are coming, busting out. Over here, I have my Peperomia um, Scandens Variegated. And I did show you guys this plant in a previous video as well. All right, I'm gonna move on to, this is my kitchen area. Um, this is a south-facing window by my kitchen. So I just have two types of lipstick plant here. One is the Grisilis and one is the Thai Pink, also both in bloom. Um, they're both growing in water and I plan to just keep it like this in water. And then over here I have my Hoi, um, Discidia, is it Discidia? Lanceolata. Skidia lanceolata. Yeah. And then this is a variegated string of hearts. And my Discidia ovata. And then my mom's propagating some string of hearts here. To my living room area, where my son has most of his playthings. And there's Ollie again. Okay, so over here, I have a hurricane cactus up there. And down here, I have a Ripsalis Paradoxa Minor. So I have, I've had the larger version um, for a long time now and my friend was actually looking for the minor one which is much much harder to find and we found it so I decided to get one too with her so this is such a gorgeous Ripsalis Okay, so over here, I have my grow light. <clears throat> I might need to shut this off to show you guys properly. Okay. Over here, I just have my last remaining piece of my Pink Princess Philodendron. I sold all of the top cuttings already, and this is the base of it, which is the stump area. And... I was trying to sell this too, but no one seems to really want um want it like this which is not surprising but the stumps are now putting out new growth um if you guys see one here one there 
another one here. And also a couple more in the back there. So um, I can't wait to see what they look like, if they will be variegated or not, because the pieces that I had chopped off of this are variegated. Okay, over here I have some Peperomia pixie cuttings that are growing in water. And they're growing really nicely, they're so pretty. And then I just have a couple of succulents and some propagations that my mom is just um, having fun with. And again, we are just waiting for the weather to be warm enough so we can put all of the succulents outdoors because if you can tell, it is stretching. Okay, and then over here in this terrarium, I have my Squarosa or tassel fern. And I don't know how it's doing. I think it's doing okay. This is my golden pothos here. That looks more like just a regular green pothos at this point, which is fine. And it just trails all the way around. Okay, up there is my Passiflora trifasciata. That is the connected intertwined with my pothos. Okay. Then over here is my large Manjula pothos. And then next to that is actually my Acacia burkeae that is now coming out of dormancy. It is so, so cool. I had to chop off all of the leaves because it was just starting to slowly die off. Um, oh my god, I don't think I can get this to focus, but can you see the green that's popping out? Yeah. So that's all new leaves. Some on the back, back one too. Okay, and then over here is my large Tetrasperma. Uh, Raphatophora Tetrasperma. And I just love this plant so much. Yeah, okay. And then my Hoya Retusa. And down here is my Ficus deltoidea. Starting to pop out the berries again. It lost almost all the berries during winter. So, yeah. Someone mentioned to me if I put this in brighter light or direct light, um, the, the leaves will grow bushier. So I might try that this summer. I, just, I was just afraid it might burn, so I don't know. We'll see. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous plant. <clears throat> oh, down here I have more Peperomia pixie and also a random Hoya that I forgot the name of that I had rooting in water and I finally potted it up in pond, so we'll see how it does. This over here is my Dyskidia jerry. Be hard to see. I am so sorry. Like this. There you go. And then next to that is my Peperomia peppermill. I think. It looks like a ruby cascade. I thought it was a ruby cascade, but it is not. It's actually not very happy with me right now. It keeps losing leaves, and I don't know why. But yeah, that it is. And then it will move on to the shelf, which I have the grow lights on. So I am gonna, actually before I do that, let me just show you guys my other golden pothos that's all the way up there. Also trailing onto my curtain rod and the leaves on this one are gigantic. Um, let me just show you because it spans all the way over here onto the wall, but like they are huge leaves. Um, Okay, here we go. All the way in the back there is my Hoya Ingleriana. Gorgeous. And then this is my coral cactus or coral ripsalis 
the scientific name I, I'll put on the screen. Super pretty. Okay, then I just have a little succulent here, bear paw succulent, which needs to go outside. I have a Hoya SP2007-13. Then my Hoya Cartesii. Okay, moving down here, I have my Syngonium Pink Splash. Then I have two more sad Syngoniums in the back there. That one, they're both actually from my variegated um, elbow Syngonium, but this one lost variegation, so I separated them. And they're not doing much, so. Um, here is my Hoya Kentiana Lori Lin. I wish I could show you guys better, but um, it is in my Hoya collection video, so you guys will be able to see that, but it is so pretty. And then in there is my Hoya GPS 7420 or something like that. Um, that my friend gave me to grow. I have it inside the dome. Not much happening yet from the last time you guys saw it in the repotting. And over there I just have some more Dyskidia ovata cuttings that have rooted in water. I haven't decided what to do with it yet. So It is sunstress which is so pretty. Okay, and then over here is my Hoya Parasitica Pink, I think. I could be wrong. I'm getting these Hoya names confused now. Um, it does have new growth for spring. I'm so excited because it was pretty much dormant all winter. You see it? That little stem there? That's new. Not the prettiest when it's sunstress, as you guys can see, so I don't recommend sunstressing this. Then my Hoya Kalina. Okay, and then moving down to the very bottom. Oh, let's take a seat. Um, where do we start? Okay, over here in the dome is a Hoya species, uh, Ase or Ake. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, it's a place in Indonesia. So that's where it's from. They haven't named it, so that's why they just call it Hoya species and then where it's from. It's a huge, huge leaf. Um, so I want to see if the higher humidity will help it grow. And then this is my Hoya Sigillatus species Ase or Ake or Ase. I don't know. In the back here, I have a Hoya Kalina IR26, which is the splashy version of the regular Hoya Kalina. Okay, in the back, more succulents that need to go outside. And more succulents. So these are all just succulents waiting. And then I have uh, more cuttings of my variegated lipstick plant, which now just looks like a red lipstick plant. And then down here I have cuttings of my Raphidophorus hydrosperma. It's fully rooted in water. So let's move on to my son's nursery. Um, just a few plants, so this will be quick. Um, you guys already know I have his, um, I have my philodendron micans hanging in here. So, and then the baby philodendron mican cuttings. It's growing really nicely. And then I also have this Hoya chia pence. That's, I don't know if it's happy or not. <laughs> it's kind of like a rehab cutting that I got. So, yeah, it's pretty banged up looking, but we'll see if it'll do anything. Okay. First here is his uh, Diefenbachia Snow. Really large guy. Leaf. Okay. Then on this shelf, he just has some Thai pink lipstick plant cuttings in water. 
and then this neon potos hanging. Alright, so into the bedroom. I'll just start off with my desk. I have my Manjula Pothos and then my Discidia Oientha Variegata. And then hanging up there is my um, variegated lipstick plant. On this shelf, um, I have the grow light on, so I will turn that off. Okay. So on this side here is the Peperomia Hope. And then I have the Ripsalis Paradoxa. Now this is the larger one that I mentioned before compared to the minor one that I got. So the chains are just um, slightly larger. Okay, and then I have the Skindapsis Exotica. I think this is Exotica. And then my Hoya Carnosa Narrow. Okay, and then in this cloche I have my Hoya Clemenciorum. This is what it looks like. It is such a beautiful Hoya. Almost looks prehistoric. And up there, I actually have a Rehab Hoya AH074, which is looking pretty darn good. Look at all the new leaves coming out that are lighter green. These were the original leaves. If you can see, it's pretty battered. So these three, this, this, and that one, and then these are all new, and it is looking very splashy. So I'm excited. Up here is my Marble Queen Pothos, hanging by the window. My. Ripsalis Pelocarpa. And then my Schlifflera that I am so fed up with because it just keeps dropping leaves. It's still putting out new growth all the time. That's why it doesn't look like it's been losing leaves, but it definitely keeps dropping. So yeah, not sure what's going on, but that's that guy start this is my philodendron florida ghost new leaf coming out um this is actually a little cutting of my hoya carnosa narrow it was a really ugly cutting so i just decided to chop it off of the main plant and then just kind of restart it and see what happens so you can see some growth over there. Next to that is my Hoya Hanie. It is so pretty with the sun's dress. Okay. Then I have my Hoya Sigillatus. gonna move over here my pot of franken hoyas like just random hoya stem it's like bare stems that i kind of rooted and then it just started putting out leaves um still don't know what is what so we'll just have to wait and see and then here is my hoya acuta red um, it is getting ready to bloom so I'm very excited And then over here is my Hoya Quinquinervia. 
so that's it i hope you guys enjoyed